Hello everyone and welcome. So today I just wanted to make a quick video highlighting a tool that I found recently. Um, not too long ago I started working on a plain PHP project which meant I had to set everything up for myself. So my own dev environment using Docker and Docker Compose. And I scoured the internet for quite a while, uh, probably longer than I care to admit. And I couldn't really find anything that good in terms of like a dev environment. Um, like there was a lot of stuff out there, it just wasn't kind of what I wanted. Um, and eventually I stumbled across a quite an obscure post on the internet. And in the comments of that post, somebody mentioned DDEV, which is a tool we're going to be looking into today. And I set it up and pretty much immediately fell in love because it, it just gave me everything I needed. Um, in a kind of like one size fits all type thing. So yeah, I wanted to highlight it so that anybody else, you know, searching up how to create a dev environment for PHP and also Node.js and Python um, would find this and you know would be introduced to the tool that's probably gonna save them quite a lot of time. So what we'll do is click get started. Uh, the first thing you'll need is Docker. Um, I've already got Docker installed, but there are some install instructions for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, you can use their actual documentation, which is quite thorough. Uh, or DDEV does have some commands listed here, which should get you up and running as well. Uh, and then the next thing to do would be to install DDEV itself, which is really straightforward. On Mac, for example, you just do brew install and then DDEV. Uh, Windows. Well, I mean, Windows is just the run the install script. And then on Linux, again, they give you the commands you need. So just these three commands uh, and you should have installed. Uh, to check, you can just do ddev-v and see what you get. So I've got version 1.22.6, which is fine. Uh, you might have a, a newer version, uh, which is all good. So what we'll do is create a project quickly. So what I'm going to do is make directory and I'll just call it like PHP test project, something like that. And then CD into that. And then what we'll do is ddev config. So this is what you run to actually set up your project. So what it'll do is create a .ddev folder and that will con contain this config.yaml. So project name, PHP test project is fine. Uh, project root. So this will be where your entry point file lives. So in my case, I'm going to do um, public because that's just kind of like a, a standard convention with PHP, but by default, it does current directory. So if you're using like node, current directory is fine. And then you just put your index.js in the um, sort of root folder. Uh, and that's fine. It's going to create public for me because it doesn't exist at the moment. So that's fine. And then project type. So this is quite cool. It gives you gives you quite a few options in regards to the project type. So we've got loads of stuff like Laravel, which is a PHP framework. You've got Python and Django, which are for um, Python. Um, when it comes to Node, I'm actually not too sure what you would use um, because Node kind of just gets set up with everything. So like, for example, if I use PHP, which I'm going to do, um, node will be installed as well at the same time. So I, I don't know if you would just use PHP for node and then just use node, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look in that in a second anyway. Um, so configuration complete, you can run ddev start. So what ddev start will do is actually like start the containers. Um, before we do that though, what I want to do is look at the config. So it's created this public file. So what I'm just going to do is quickly create an index.php file just to um, have something to run. So I'll just do PHP and then do PHP info like that. And that's fine. So in .ddev, and by the way, this folder here, um, this is what you'll commit and then commit to like GitLab, GitHub, whatever you're using. And then when somebody clones your project in the future, all they'll have to do is run ddev start and it should use this configuration uh, file in here to actually set everything up. Uh, and then it'll be easy, easy as that for other developers to start working on your project. 
So we've got name, type, um, doc root. So this name up here is what it'll use for the URL. So it'll create a dot ddev dot site um, URL for you to use locally. And then obviously this project name here will re be replaced with whatever's up here. So PHP version, um, I'm gonna set it to 8.3 just to use the latest version of PHP. Uh, these things you probably don't really have to worry about too much. We've got web server type nginx fpm, which is fine just to leave as default. And then we've also got database. Um, we can change the type so we can have MySQL, MariaDB, or Postgres. So I'm going to do Postgres and I'm going to use version 16 like that. And it does say down here like what versions can be used. So like Postgres versions can be 9 to 16. Uh, and I think 16 is like the latest version. Uh, I don't know if it's LTS though, so you might, you might not want to use it. But yeah, I'll just set it as version 16 and that should work for me. So once everything's configured, if we go back to our terminal and run ddev start, this will actually create our containers and our network as well. Uh, if you're running this for the first time, it'll probably take a little bit longer because it'll have to pull the Docker images, I think. Um, but then when you run it after that, it should be as quick as that. And that's it, that's our dev environment set up. So if we go back to the documentation and have a look at some other commands, it says, oh, the first command actually is ddev launch. So if we go back to our terminal and do ddev launch, this will launch our website. We do that there we go you can see it's got php info uh, which is just what i set up in the code here so that's working that means it's finding our entry file just fine which is great uh, if we go back to uh, the documentation go here we've got another section called explore and enjoy so ddev describe is probably um well, it's probably the most useful command in terms of like getting your details. So if we go to um, project details, that is ddev describe, there we go. So yeah, you can see it lists all of your details. So we've got like where it's actually been uh, running the code and then we've got the URL. Uh, but the services section is probably the most useful. So web is gonna be our actual code that's running. So we can see it's got our URL here. Um, we've got the in Docker stuff. So this is like what you would use if you wanted to, you know, uh, query your website from within Docker. Um, then you've also got host, which is just the IP version of this uh, URL. Uh, and then some info on it. So we've got PHP 8.3, um, Nginx, public. Uh, and this is a bit, I'm a bit unsure about. So it does say Node.js 18. So Node.js is running. Um, it seems I don't know if there's like a standalone node thing or if you would just use if you wanted to use node as your um, back end you would just use PHP and then just use node if that makes sense um, you probably have to look into that a little bit yourself if you want to set up node then we've got DB so we've got the host details here um, what what database we're, and the version that we're running and then we've got user and pass as well which is DB DB by default then we've got mail pit, which is pretty cool. So if you do this command here, ddev launch dash M, it should open up mail pit. Uh, if you're not familiar with mail pit, it's similar to mail hog. Um, if you're not familiar with that, uh, they're basically email clients. Uh, and what they will do is kind of catch uh, emails that you send locally. And it will allow you to view them as if you're viewing them in like Gmail or Outlook or something like that. So you can actually see the emails um, in development, which is pretty cool. Um, and so like you can see like the styles of the emails, for example. You can see whether they're being sent and the styles, which is really useful. Um, so you don't have to like, you know, send real emails to see if they they look OK. You can just use MailPit, which is quite cool uh, and very useful. So I think that's it for describe. Um, it's got your URLs as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think you can probably add um, more containers as well if you configure you know, other things as well. I think uh, I'm not 100% sure what is actually supported, but I think there are probably more things out there so you can add you know, more useful containers as well if you need. Uh, and then you've got ddev stop, 
which is what will actually stop um, your containers. Uh, and I think it will also remove the containers as well, um, just to clean things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that will just be what you run, you know, when you finish working on things. And then the last command is ddev delete. And what this will do is that will get rid of your .ddev folder and, and remove, you know, everything. Uh, and then there's a couple of, well, a few more commands below, which will just remove everything. We'll um, so yeah, it'll clean up all of the ddev related things, and then you can remove ddev completely. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think um, yeah, quite quite simple to use. Uh, really, really convenient means that you, you know you basically got everything just in one package in the ddev package you've got everything you need to run a php node or python project locally so yeah i just thought i'd make this quick video to kind of highlight that and hopefully you know when people are when people are looking they'll see this video and they won't have to spend you know a few hours kind of trying to figure out if there's a if there's a good solution for um local dev environments in docker um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.